Hey everybody, it's Kenyama. Welcome to another episode of Past Blasting. And having finally seen Harry Potter and a Fantastic Beast, I know it's it's sad how long it took me to watch that, but it felt inspired to do my next episode of Past Blasting on one of my favorite games from the Harry Potter franchise, Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone on Game Boy Advance. Now surprisingly, I've, I have played this recently, and surprisingly it holds up pretty well. Like, the art style and everything just, it looks great to me. And the gameplay is not boring at all. Like, I played surprisingly a lot of, like, puzzle-based games, which makes me wonder why I'm not a little smarter, but... Oh well. Uh, but this game was just, like, it makes puzzle games not as boring. Like, it's a... A lot of puzzle games, uh, I feel, like, get really, like, almost repetitive after a while, but this one does do it in a really... You know, unique sort of way. As I said, that artwork to me, like, it's just beautiful. It looks like it's taken right out of the books or something. Like, I love it. And even, like, it, it doesn't, like I said, it incorporates a lot of the books and the show. Like, there's a lot of characters in this that, like, you'll see, like, the show, uh, unfortunately, cuts out some of the, or not the show, sorry, movies, cut out some of the uh, characters a little bit. But the book, I, I've read both the books and watched the movies, and I just love the whole franchise itself. So let's get right into this. And as I said, like, with Past Blasting, it's more me just trying to get through it quickly. Because Past Blasting is more just to show you guys some of the games I used to play. Versus what would be a full play, which would I would actually take my time with it, you know. But this, I'm just going to try and get through the first bit so you can take a look and let me know if you want to actually see me do a whole thing on this. Like... Let me know in the comment section below. I really don't mind. Uh, man, is this game really just... And that's why... <laughs> that's one of my... You know, the characters I was talking about that they just cut from the movies. And I hated that they cut them. Because in... And especially in this game, I just found him such a, like... Annoying, but necessary character in this game. Like, he was irritating, but it... Made the game a little more challenging. Now let's get right to it. To the first classroom. Oh, God. And here's one of the reasons why I say this game is fun and does a unique thing with puzzle-based games. So, I'm going to try and do this as best I can. Oh, God. Because with you guys watch, I feel like I mess up. Up, down, right. Up, down, and right. Up, down, right. Down, down. Up, down, right. Down, down. Up, down, right, down, down, up, right. Up, down, right, down, down, up, right. Boom! There we go. God, I used to get to do that so much easier before. Like, it was not even a question if I could actually pull it off now. <laughs> Just like, hold my breath. Please get through it. Please don't make an ass of yourself. All right, now here's the second part of this game that really makes it into a nice puzzle game. So after, in each classroom, you do have to go through, like, these sort of puzzles. Oh, shit. So let's move that. Let's take a look over to the left, because I'm trying to remember if I got everything. Oh, right, right, right. So there's, like, a lot of, like, switches... A lot of the things you have to move or move on to, stuff you have to collect. Like, a lot of it, this game is just beautiful to watch. And it's definitely replayable. Like, I've probably played this a couple... I've probably replayed this quite a lot in my childhood, even. Oh, shit. Shit. Ah, come on. Boom. Got one. Come here. Boom. There we go. Oh, yeah, I played this a lot, and I don't think I ever really recall getting too bored of it. And as I said, I, I, I hope you guys can recommend maybe one that you remember that was really good, and I'll take a look, if I remember. I think I played one in the PlayStation. I know, I think I played the sequels, but I, as I said, I think I just more or less just played this one. Like, this was definitely the top one I played. Boom. Oh, I just gotta make sure I don't fall in. Eh. Hey, Tim. Okay, gotta wait for it. Boom, there we go. I love how it gives me a bean every... Because it, it automatically assumes I'm gonna get hit. 
I mean, for a new player, they would get hit, but I kind of remember the stuff where it is. Not overly well. Like, if I was to do a full play of this, I think I would forget. A, I would be surprised to see that I've forgotten a lot of it. There we go. I actually don't even don't remember what happened to this game. I, I had it for a while, but I... Oh, shit. I think I almost fell. There we go. Yeah. Oh, and another thing. Uh, let me know if you guys like the screen like this better or like I had before. Like, I found a thing that... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But I have a, a... Did I collect a star from a distance? Yeah, there's supposed to be a star right here. Oh, well. Uh, if... Because I do have a thing now that does make it so that you can uh, uh, shade out the sides a little bit. But let me know if you like it more like this. The only problem I can see with this is that ooh, shoot, it does block the sides a little bit too much. But other than that, it isn't too bad. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There we go. Got him. There's still a slight panic because, like I said, I don't want to look bad on this game. Eh. Eh. Hit the bucket. Hit the bucket. And as I said, there is a lot of collectibles. Like, you do find a lot of the... Like, I don't think I'll find it right now. But you find, like, a lot of the chocolate frogs. There's a lot of collecting items. Actually, I'll show you that once I get through this. I can show you a few more things. But it's absolutely one of my favorite of my games. And it's definitely why I chose... This is a pretty good sequel. Or a second... Well, not sequel, but... Pretty good uh, second episode. Let's just get through this little portion. There we go. You mastered the Filippo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing. Well done, thanks. That's 20 points for Gryffindor. Now I'll show you what I mean. So here's a lot. Oh, not the right button I was aiming for. What is it? The top left? Select. It's always select. So it shows you like the floors. There's stuff in your inventory. So it shows you which class you have next. Which class you mastered already. And then this part. This part I think uh, at the end of the game. I had collected them all. Like there's a lot of ones you'll collect throughout the game. And I think that's about it. There's a good amount of interaction you can do with the, the people. Like there isn't like. As I say that, there we go. I consider this, uh, consider being late once. Snape took house points away from me for it. Ouch. And now as, oh, and here's Hermione. Magic Hitch book, I've learned all my books. Am I really in that book of yours? Yes, yes you are. Now let's see if I can find one of those statues I was talking about. And you get to play the, like, I I really wish I could, like, show you more. But I want to, I do want to save a little bit of mystery. Let me see if I can find it, though. Oh, right, it's at the bottom or what am I going this way for? Like, this place is big. It definitely make you feel like you're at Hogwarts with how big it is. And then the save points are, of course, the little books. But I want to show you... Oh. <laughs> so let's get down to this part. But yeah, like, a, the games and everything are really fun to play. Like, there's a lot of parts about this. And again, I don't want to show it all because I don't want to make it so ruin some surprises. Where the hell is it? It's supposed to be... I thought it was over here. Uh, I can't remember where it is. I'm supposed to show what the points are. I'm trying to remember where it is. Nah, I got nothing. I can't remember. But anyway, it's supposed to, like, it actually keeps a record of how. So, at the end of this, you can lose the cup. Like, if you screw up enough, you will lose that cup. And that's the part that makes it so much, like, you're, instead of, like, before, we are like, oh, I lose some points, whatever, it's not a big deal. It actually hurts you in the end, and I love that about it. Maybe it's in the basement. I'm going to try one more spot. Okay, so I found it. I was completely stupid, and I forgot I, was on the, I wasn't even on the first floor yet. So as you can see here, it showed you all the points as to where they are. And this is like great because it really shows like that you and the main uh, rifle house are neck and neck and the other two on the sides. I've actually seen a couple times where the not Slytherin, but one of the other two will win. I think it was one of the first times I played this game. And like I said, it's, it is a great game. I really hope you guys like this video because so that way I can do a full play. But otherwise, I'm glad I just showed it off to you guys and made you remember this old game. Because I feel like it is really great to play. 
Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the second episode of Pass Blasting. As always, you can always suggest the next game I can uh, to play. Otherwise, I'll go in the order that, you know, at random, whatever inspires me. So, as always, like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more Pass Blasting. See you guys next time. Bye!